while some of these guys did not fare very well over me being gone, and it looks like there's a little infestation that has started on the ones that did manage, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean them up and uh, just continue on with what we have here. But the basil, the mint, and the oregano did pretty well. Mint's a little scraggly, but that's all okay. If you had told me three years ago that this would be my third summer spent out west and the final season to wrap up my third year living here, I wouldn't have believed you. I know over the years since I've lived out this way, I've spent much of it in reflection, most always during the winter months and rarely the summer. Save for my first year here when everything felt unimaginably great and every milestone worth counting and documenting. But as the years wore on, the novelty of this land wore off, and instead of a new land, it became home, and the one I had previously known became a stranger, like a love lost to time. But now as I sit here wrapping up my third year, I find myself reflecting again, When I first moved here, I was a child who thought they were an adult. Coming from somewhere very small and quiet, and throwing myself into a place so unimaginably different from anything I could have ever dreamed. I spent my days mesmerized and my nights dreaming of the morning when I could go back out and explore this place again. As time went on, there were so many firsts. It was here where I first learned how to truly be alone, where I first learned of grief, and where I first found freedom. There was so much growth amongst the novelty, but then, just as the seasons shift slowly day by day, right below your nose, going unnoticed until their qualities become all-encompassing, this land slowly shifted for me, the change going unnoticed until my days became rhythmic, and then they lulled. My time of adventure came to a close, the first that had become a constant slowed, and I fell back into the old habits that I had tried to run away from all those years ago. Over the years, I've noticed this, I've tried time and time again to make change, to find happiness or fulfillment, to stop searching and start living. I have countless journal entries and video documenting these hopes and attempts at a new life, but it's much easier said than done, and every time I tried to make change, I'd eventually fall back into the same rut, the rut that I found myself in yet again and have been unable to escape from for much of this past year. I don't know exactly why I always wind up here. There's so much good around me and so much that I love, but this hole is my constant. Perhaps this feeling is greater due in part to my recent trip back east, a trip that gifted me many memories of the past and left me with a complicated knot of nostalgia within my heart. The grass is always greener, right? And yet, it's not. Which pulls me back to my forever habit. Change. That's why I've moved six or seven times in the last three years. At this point, I've lost track. It's why every week I find a new passion to fill my days, or long for anything novel that can pull me briefly from the rut. I wish I could wrap this up with hope and change and an active plan moving forward. But I don't think I can. Nor do I think I should. And I think that's okay. Not everything has to end beautifully for it to continue. We all have rough days here and there. But we still wake up the next morning to continue anew. So while I do have many projects in the works, 
and as always, I hope each will bring some amount of change and help pull me from this rut. It's something I need to acknowledge. I've spent a lot of time recently going back through my old videos, watching these tales of my life play out over the last few years. And all I wished as I watched them was for myself to be a bit more honest with myself. And to be open to being stuck for a moment. And living in that space instead of trying to look forward to a time when it could be different. Because that just keeps you stuck and not living in that moment. So today I'm stuck and that's okay. And for the first time, I really do feel those words that I'm saying. And believe them for myself. So, as we enter July and welcome the abundance of summer, I'm welcoming being stuck and being not perfectly okay. <laughs>